ladies and gentlemen. We got brand new competition over here on Leagues Online. Please subscribe to Old School Gamer Live. Bring your game pad and your pride. The competition's ramping up, and this is where you draw the line. You got the passion, then you got the time. We got classic arcades, all you have to do is press for wine. From Nintendo, Capcom, Taito to Konami, Midway, Data East, Sega to Atari, Outrun. Anyone in the Evo Ferrari become a rad race on any board and don't feel sorry. I battle waves of brigades and it feels so nice. I'm jumping through hoops and circuses just like Charlie. My killer instinct, bashful, inspector the lobbies, or ruin the party. Turtle shells all over your body. We got King Creo brings the stress. No quarter brings the test. Bring your A game, shut your mouth and nothing less. Here's the quest. Are you ready for the competition recognition on leaderboard beyond our comprehension? Be that one, be that number one guy who will decide on old school game or live. Welcome, everybody. We got another episode of Old School Gamer Live coming at you. I have my pals, like always. I got KC. What's I have going Ryan. On? Happy Sorry, guys. Thursday. Happy Thursday. Oh, Good. my gosh. I Good am so you. ready to get out of Iowa for a couple of days. How about we all, you know, at least electronically hook up in some form? Me and Quarter together. But in Milwaukee, is that sound a good idea next week? Well, hold on a minute. You were just in Kansas City this weekend, last yeah, I know. weekend. <laughs> <laughs> he's already tired of it again. He sounds like me. He's, he's ready to get back on the road. He's, he's selling this house. He's getting out of Dodge. He's just like me. I'm never selling this house. The kids are going to have to sell it after I'm gone. <laughs> I'm not moving. I did that 25 years ago, like five times in 10 years. I ain't doing it again. Uh, he's over it. He's over it. Well, I'm looking forward to this, uh, although I'll be digital. I'm looking forward to this next week for sure. Definitely. Midwest Gaming, guys, is going to be an absolute blast. We have so much stuff planned for it. Just, just old school gamer alone, we have a lot of stuff. And then all of our friends in the retro gaming community, they have a lot of stuff as well. And we're going to try to cover a lot of it. Uh, Paul E.K., we're going to do a lot of different uh, uh, tours of different booths around. So we're going to have a blast. Uh, Ryan, let's dive right on into our magazine update for the week and what's going on over there. Magazine, magazine land. Uh, magazine Gosh. updates are the, the magazines have already started showing from mailboxes for March, which nice. for us, yes, it's 10 days till the end of the month or less than that, actually. Uh, but we have a record of kind of coming out late in the month. Um, so I'm pretty happy. The magazine turned out fantastic. Our new printer is doing great. You can check out the magazine all online for those of you subscribers from the non-subscribers. Um, the free version will be available to you another week or two, which is roughly one half of uh, the full magazine. But right. 20 bucks a year, please do sign up. Uh, 50 bucks a year if you want it in print. And we got some cool stuff in the works. Me and me and do a quarter of a talk. We got some cool merch coming up. We've got some cool shirt stuff I'm working on. We're, 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 we got a lot of things going on. Once I get in the summer and get, get this school job, you know, the stuff that pays the bills out of the way. The main um, thing, right? <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun, and um, you, uh, you know, quarter, you're gonna be sick of hearing from me. So I'm gonna send you all kinds of fun stuff to do. I'm already, already tired of hearing from this guy. It's constant. He's <laughs> always got stuff. And that's that's what keeps me alive, right? It keeps me going. Uh, all right, well, awesome, man. That sounds like an absolute yep, blast. Thanks. Let's dive over into our latest news, guys. And KC, what do we got tonight? Tonight, I don't know which one to start with. I think uh, I want to start with this Counter Strike. Yeah, we'll fire this off. So, this game here, man. If you, if any of you out there, <laughs> the early esports scene, it, you know that esports really kind of kicked off with StarCraft, obviously. But then you had Halo. But then you had this game, CS:GO. The game never really had any updates. I mean, what 2012? I think it came out. And we were still doing tournaments up until 2019. Uh, and we talking big money tournaments. There was really no graphical updates. They had skin updates, but nothing graphic wise. But now, check this out. Counter-Strike 2 is coming. There's a ton of different updates coming. Uh, and they put what I like about the site and what they're announcing is they put side by side CSGO and this new Counter-Strike 2. So you're able to see the changes. Tell me, have you ever played this one, No Quarter? I know you had. Tell me, you you better tell me you played it. I did play this when I was more into Delta Force and StarCraft, oh, yeah. like you said. Uh, but yeah, this was one that I played as well. But I'm liking these new additions, like this smoke. The like, smoke is really cool. 
if you played this game, you know that the smoke, especially for the uh, the bomb, the, the I forgot, cap, not capture the flag, the bomb, the bombing missions. You know that smoke is needed. I mean, that's the first thing you th you're tossing out in this game. Not like COD, COD, you know, that smoke is very needed. Yeah, this was a tactical game compared to an arcade player like COD was back then. COD was just straight up paths. This was your tactical player. Yeah, and th this reminded me of uh, SOCOM, the SOCOM days where you had to rip. And uh, what's the other one, the Tom Clancy one? Rainbow Six. Yeah. See, you had to really think and play this game. It wasn't no run and shoot. Uh, but I like the fact that they're putting money into it. I was kind of getting disappointed because there really were no changes to the game. But I was excited when No Quarter told me about this, and I saw the difference. Now, look how he's changing that. You can see how it's going to look now. And I'm, and that's an upgrade. It, this is not no remaster. They redone this whole thing. Yeah, it's much brighter. But Very, yeah. really cool. Yep. So next, I I'm going to dive into <laughs> this one. Wait till you guys see this. I think you guys might have seen uh, Arcade One Up. I think somebody shared some announcements. But there is a 7-Eleven cab. I think they finally announced the competition. <laughs> it Ryan's last. So I'm, I, t I was just telling No Quarter, I'm really surprised 7-Eleven is just now getting into tapping into the nostalgia because 7-Eleven to me was like an ad hoc arcade. Yeah, well, I was just what two or three machines there. Exactly, like score piece or beef jerky or set, man. Yeah. <laughs> so you you get you some beef jerky, like Ryan said. You get you a big Slurpee, but then you can go play Double Dragon. And if you notice, Seven Eleven had only a certain type of game. They had a fighter. They typically had maybe a shooter like a Galaga, maybe a Pac Man, but they didn't have every type of game. If you look at this right here. There is a whole rug. I mean, they got an air hockey table. There's all kind of things that you can win. There's different tiers. You just have to download the app, buy participating products. I have no problem doing that because I'm at 7-Eleven every morning. And then there's a chomp up seven uh, time entry for a chance to win Pac-Man prizes. There's different tiers. I gotta say, I don't like the cap. No quarter, Ryan. What you guys thoughts on the cap? I'm not a fan of the cap. Yeah, it's pretty ugly looking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get it, but I'm, I, I'm, I don't know. I don't want that in my game. Bro. Yeah, uh, I love the idea. I love I, collaborations I, like this, but that cab, I don't know, man. <laughs> no, I like this little mini because I have a few of these keychains. Yeah, that's I, cool. Yeah, I wouldn't mind this one. But yeah, 7-Eleven, this is interesting that they're tapping into the nostalgia. Them and the local liquor store was like your ad hoc arcade. You didn't need tokens. You just needed your 25 cents. Yep. And you were able to play. That's my news for this week. No quarter and run. Very, very cool promotion. Uh, guys, make sure you type in hashtag OSGL into the chat so you can be entered. Now I'm going to spin it twice today. Because last time, yeah, I forgot forgot. Forgot. you guys, I'm going to blame you for not reminding me. Oh. You have to always remind me because you oh. are. <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to blame everybody else, not myself on this one. So, type her in there. Hashtag OSGL. You can win a Poly K $15 gift certificate. We're going to give two away tonight. So, <laughs> remind me twice. All right. Uh, another thing I want to talk about in our news, actually, is Jam.GG right now is giving away... A yearly discount plan right now. It's a little code. If you type in the code, you get each month for $1.67. I mean, it's an absolute deal. If you don't know much about Jam.gg, it's an online emulator system, pretty much. You can load your own ROMs into it. You can play those games then with your friends online. It's uh, really, really cool. We've been using it for a couple of years now. Yeah, uh, we've been we've, we've uh, using it. Yeah, we love jam.gg, so check that out and get in on that discount code. Uh, let's fire over to our friends of Old School Gamer. We are waiting on our guest to show up. And guys, I got to tell you, it's on me this time because I sent him the code, I don't know, five, ten minutes before the show. So he probably doesn't even know it's even happening. So we're going to just talk about his trade show. Yeah, yeah, uh, good pull up his website. I've been to the show. I haven't, I haven't pulled up. Game on Expo. Game on Expo, um, been going on for a long time. Um, 
and Old School Gamer's been involved in, I think, for four years now. It's just a, a great show. John Lester, who's a, a, a YouTube personality, who I've put together for years. It is an overall Comic-Con format that you're going to see all kinds of different stuff there. But without a doubt, it is probably 80% video game related because that's what his passion is on things. It's just oh. a very cool show. He just showed up. Here he is. There he is. John, my friend, how are you? What's up, John? Uh-oh. Yes. You got, there you are. There he yeah. is. We, we, we were just bragging about how cool the show was now that I finally got to it myself uh, this most recent year. Can't hear you. I don't guess you can't hear us just yet. Uh, well, keep trying to work on your audio there. Lots of free play games and arcades I see. Look at this. This looks sweet. Indie Spotlight. Yeah. Modern games as well. Modern. I like the whole retro setup. Okay. That's pretty dope. You got us, man? Hey, guys. Can you hear me? There you go. We got you. Awesome. Awesome. Good right, how are you guys doing? I guess well, well, how you doing? start out by telling us how you got involved in the whole gaming industry and everything. Give us a little bit of the game survive, and then let's go on and talk about Game on Expo for most of the time. Was that to me, Ryan? Sorry, I didn't catch yes. the first part of that. Okay. How I got involved with Game on Expo or just gaming in general? Uh, gaming in general. Tell us about your passions for gaming. Well, I've been, uh, man, I've been playing games my majority of my life. Uh, I think the thing that really triggered my passion for getting to YouTube was back in 08, I got a camera for my wedding. And uh, I just, I'm a big collector of video games in general and just decided to post some videos on YouTube and uh, met some great people and kind of went from there. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. John, I want to apologize for sending that link out so late. I usually send it a couple of days beforehand, and I totally forgot this week. So No, it's okay. My apologies for being late. I This was not on my calendar, so I apologize. Uh, We're going to remedy late. all that. We're definitely yeah. going to be doing calendar invites from now on. <laughs> yeah, please. No, it's all good. I appreciate you guys having me. Uh, I guess, uh, tell us about where Game One Expo came from. Uh, game on Expo, I've been doing a lot of traveling throughout the country, uh, going to various gaming events, um, kind of like you, Ryan, and uh, there really wasn't, I live in Phoenix, and there really wasn't uh, a gaming event in Phoenix, so got together with my good friend uh, Jason Heine, and uh, we kind of put some things together, and uh, we started in Mesa back in 2015, we were there for a couple of years, and moved to downtown Phoenix in 17. And it is right in the thick of downtown. Um, my experience is myself. The nice thing about Phoenix is it's very well laid out. The 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 monorail or whatever your train system is yeah. with getting around on things. I could. It was it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. the lo location's nice. Yeah. I'm out um, in Los Angeles, so I'm looking forward to this, John, uh, to be able to hit something local. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Come on down. It'll be fun. Yeah, I love. Uh, it's been growing. We have a good time out there for sure. So great. Have you gotten to the point of announcing much of um, of this year's extra activities, or do you want to just talk about the past a little bit? Give us well, more. We've, uh, we're gonna have the classic Tetris back. Or classic Tetris back, of course. Those are great guys, and that's a great, great event. Uh, we're gonna have uh, the Dr. Mario tournament back, and we do a thing called the Retro. Uh, uh, what is it? Um, I'm trying to blank, um, but it's like a retro gaming tournament that we do, uh, retro World Series that we kind of do, uh, oh, retro yeah. championships. It's called Retro World Championships, and so it's basically I uh, work with my good friends Mike um, Irasi. He was like the original championship for the champ, the winner for the the campus uh, challenge back in '92. Oh yeah, the campus challenge. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's helped me with that. So it's been kind of fun. We do like we put some random games together, and we uh, in the past we gave out some unique Nintendo cards. This year, a couple past couple years, we've done like special belts, which is cool. Oh, so nice. time for that. Yeah. I remember those challenges. I, I actually, little known about me, I was a part of the Blockbuster Challenge. Uh, as oh, player. excellent. The Star Fox Challenge. That's awesome. Took a loss, awesome. though, but hey, I, <laughs> it was <amazing. laughs> Yeah, that, that's cool. That's fun that you're part of it. Yep. Are you are you going to make it out to KC? Are you, I mean, how far of a drive is oh, it? Yeah. From, it's, uh, a, it's a five hour for me, so I'm, I'm planning on going for that. From SoCal, yeah, yeah man. It would be awesome to have you. That's easy. Um, bit of a drive from Arkansas. I think we'll be flying no quarter. You think? <laughs> no quarter. Uh, that's probably eighteen hours for me. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. you got to get on a plane. Seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, I won't be able yeah. to drive that one. Fly it out for sure. Yeah, Ryan's cool. He always flies me first class, so it's all it's all good. First class Greyhound. <laughs> <laughs> he rents me a U-Haul. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's, so it's, it's been a fun. It's been a fun event. We had ninety five percent growth from nineteen to twenty two. So we didn't have it in twenty twenty or twenty one because of COVID, obviously. But we've had some pretty good growth. We're excited. We're expecting big growth this year as well. As well. I'm excited to see some of these tournaments that you got here. I see Classic World Tetris. Now I have all of those guys. That is so cool to watch the the new <laughs> the new techniques that they're using on Tetris. They're coming up with new stuff all the time. It's so inventive how they're doing this with just the, the standard old game. Still, it's amazing. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's cool. It's all the young guys winning it too, which is really cool to see. You know, <laughs> it's, it's like course. my brain doesn't work fast enough to process fast enough to even get to near nearly as good as these guys are. It's crazy. Definitely. Well, belt no quarter. I'm going. Yeah, to I'm looking at the belts too. Yeah, I'm just scrolling down this side. I'm just I want to that. a lot of anime stuff too. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we've uh, last couple of years we've, we've definitely expanded on the anime front. Uh, there's obviously a crossover between gaming and anime. My my business partner runs a shop called Arizona Collectors Marketplace, and he's uh, one of his biggest sellers is anime. You know, so uh, we've had some good anime guests. We're having some other ones out this year as well. Um, so it's been it's been nice. We have a maid cafe, which is cool. We've got panels, a lot of anime vendors as well. Mm. So it's been great. Can you talk a little bit about some of the free play games in the arcades that'll be there? I see you got some modern games set up as well. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, a little bit of everything, right? So whether it's retro, obviously retro is my wheelhouse because that's what I grew up with. But we've got a lot of esports, modern gaming. We've got uh, the free play arcade and, and pinball area. Uh, tabletop as well so card games board games all the above very very cool and you have an auction going as well are you gonna help out with that one ryan or is that yeah that's that's something we're going to try for the first time down there we've done that at midwest gaming classic for a while i understand there's a real strong community of arcade people down there we started to hook up with some of them and um we're, we're gonna have we're gonna have some fun with it no doubt i'm getting down there a couple days early to get that going so that's the next reason why i need I need the rest of the crew around because I'll be busy running that stuff while you guys are doing uh, some of this live stuff and talk to people about the magazine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, we have a really passionate uh, arcade collecting group here locally in Phoenix, which is really cool. So, so I'm gonna have to come with a U-Haul, is what you're telling me, because I might. Box it. <laughs> yeah, there I think you know. gonna happen. I'm here. <laughs> I think we better which, have a U-Haul on hand. Which games do you own? Do you, do you own any really? games, arcades, in, in, in currently? Well, I just got cruising USA. So oh, excellent! Like book, yeah. He bought he bought that from the captain's guys in, in, in LA. And, oh my gosh, he got so much product on that. That's great. He absolutely stole that. He actually owns a Rev X as well, three player. Yeah, I own a Rev X. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm trying to get rid of it. It's too big. It's still sitting at the auction house. Oh wow! <laughs> I can't yeah. even put it. In. Hey, I said seven. I, I call no quarter. I say seven hundred. Pounds look different in person, don't you? <laughs> well, I, I'm going down to I'm going down to pick up a Mortal Kombat from Kansas City because I didn't realize how heavy a Mortal Kombat was. Oh, and, oh really? I don't, oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's the, way down. the other game I still want is a Rampage. I want that three player Rampage game. Ooh, a couple yeah. years ago I picked up a Virtual Fighter, and those things are huge and heavy too. If they're super wide, very it's heavy like machine. Your, it's like in your head you don't think they're that big. But then when you, <laughs> when you get in the person, you're like, uh, yeah, they're like 300 pounds. No joke. Yeah. Uh, on, on that on that vibe, John, w w tell us about your personal collection. W what do you get into? What gets you excited about video games? Obviously, I like, excuse me, I like the retro stuff for sure. That's like my wheelhouse. Um, so a certain console, that's all, you, that's, that's all you're all about? My, the one that's kind of like nostalgic to me the most when I think about it is probably the ColecoVision. Because it's kind of what I grew up with um and they're just like i'm a big arcade guy too so there's a lot of great arcade ports for the coleco vision that's why i've gotten into doing what we do with collector vision right making games for for that well, um you want to give us more information on collector vision while you're on i completely forgot about that whole aspect of you yeah so collector vision games is a is a kind of uh is an indie game company that that i'm part owner with with uh jf and toby they're up in montreal i've uh, been with them since uh, going back to uh, 10, 2010, so for, for a while. Um, and we make predominantly uh, new games for classic consoles. So uh, ColecoVision, um, Super Nintendo, we've done the game for that. NES, uh, we just released a couple years ago, City Hunter and the Curse of the Mayan, which for like Switch and Steam, uh, porting over to this year to Xbox and PS4 and 5. So City Hunter is kind of like our Mario. He's like our, 
our mascot, so to speak. He, um, he's a little bit more, a little bit Indiana Jones. Yeah. Yeah. The best way to explain that gameplay would be like, it's Castlevania meets Mega Man kind of style gameplay. Uh, he's got a whip. He's got a boomerang. So he's got definitely an Indiana Jones feel and vibe to him for sure. It feels so, like the Goonies of NES to me. Yeah. Right on. Has yeah. that kind of gameplay. Yeah. It's yeah, kind of like our love letter to uh, classic gaming. Uh, yeah. You know, I love sure. games. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but other than that, I really like the 16 bit era, like the Genesis Super Nintendo. I grew up in that era. So those are like some of my favorite consoles. I really like N64. Um, I can, I can, I like a broad amount of things for sure. Very cool. You sound like we're the same age. We grew up around the same era. Right. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the live music going to be on at this place? What do you got? Yeah. So in, in the past, we've had like Mega Ran. He's been out. He's local. I don't know if you know who Mega Ran is, but no. uh, he is like a rapper, which is awesome. He does video game rap. Oh, cool. uh, we've had, uh, I'm trying to think who else we've had in the past. Um, Sergio and the Holograms has come out in the past, which is amazing. It's, I don't know if you know who he is, but he's literally a one man band. He'll play all the instruments and he'll like uh, have them on holograms. He'll play along with himself, which is really cool. Uh, we're going to have some kind of variety. We have, we're gonna, this year, we're going to have some some jazz, kind of jazzy style group with uh, kind of acoustic. And they're also going to have like hard rock or metal, uh, all video game themed, which is really cool. So a little bit of everything. Yeah, you're hitting every genre possible. The last thing is the country. Country. Yeah, we don't have country yet. We do need the we need the yeah the bluegrass and you know, country. <laughs> country <laughs> and western. Yeah, like if, if, if you know any uh, country okay. video game themed uh, bands, certainly let me know. Yeah, I don't, I don't, but man, I love to find one. That would be hilarious. <laughs> right, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I'd be. Yeah, I'm that. down with that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, John. What what are your ticket prices? Prices and what all do you have? Do you have VIP tickets? Standard admission? Yeah, so stand right now. Uh, our prices for a weekend for three days. It's a three day event, Friday through Sunday. Uh, right now, we got them discounted for sixty dollars. Uh, normally, at the door, it's seventy five. Uh, I believe I don't have the information in front of me, but I believe like a, I think Friday might be like a thirty five dollar pass. I think mm. Saturday's forty five, and Sunday might be thirty five as well. Um, we do have a VIP. We call we call like a level up kind of VIP package, which is ninety, but includes. Early access every day to the show, uh, poster, some additional swag, some additional perks as well. So that's 90 right now. Very, very cool. Worth every cent, I guarantee. Just looking at the video here and hearing you explain it, it sounds like an absolute blast of a weekend. Yeah, there's really, I mean, like I said, I've been to a lot of shows across the country. And there's a lot of great shows, obviously. Midwest Gaming Classic, Portland, and there's so many, so many good shows. But what we try to do is something a little unique with Game On because it's a little bit more broad in terms of uh reach because we do have an anime element to it we have that tabletop we have some other you know our, our our philosophy with game on is we want something where obviously the the diehards can come and have fun and feel at home but we want something where the casuals can come out and not feel intimidated and also have a blast you know that's it's most of them are casual gamers right so we want something that no one's going to feel intimidated that you're going to feel at home and people are there to support you you know anyone's welcome very cool well, appreciate you being on the show, my friend. We will yeah. uh, definitely have a blast hanging out with you August 11th through the 13th in Phoenix. I'm really glad you guys are going to be a part of it for sure. And again, I'm so sorry that I was late to the show. No. I, I got the oh, text from oh, Ryan oh, and I was out, out in the road. I'm like, oh, crap. You know, I got to get home. I didn't know. It was on the calendar. So <laughs> yeah. thank it's you for your my fault. I, just, I forgot to send it out a couple days early. I, I'm going to just blame Ryan. He should have reminded me. So Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get some stuff. Also, when we get a little bit sh closer to the show, um, John, I'll definitely get like a video from you that we'll we'll push out like in July a couple times. To spread sure. the word about everything you guys have going on. And I'm looking for. I get there. I think on um, Tuesday. Me and my wife are going on a cruise the week before. About oh, nice. connecting from Seattle straight down to you. I heard that's a beautiful cruise, by the way. The Alaska cruise. My brother's been on. never done it. That's one of those once in a lifetime things, like Hawaii was for us five years. Ago. Yeah, for sure. Wow. For sure. Wow, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we'll appreciate thank, you, John. We'll talk to you soon, man. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, guys. I really appreciate everything. Okay, we'll be in touch. Uh -huh, have a good Thanks. one. Hey, hey, Ryan, real quick, are you going to be at Midwest Gaming Classic? Yes, um, and and No Court will be there with me also. So let's oh, talk awesome. There. Okay, I'm going to be there as well. So I'll see you guys okay. there in person. So, All right. Very cool. Cool. See awesome, you in a week, guys. then. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate everything. Bye, Later, man. All right, what a cool guy. Yes, cool he, guy. he's. He's a neat guy. He keeps himself very busy. He's one of those serial entrepreneurs. He sees something cool that's out there, and he goes right after it. The, the vibe at the show, 
I mean, when attendance was up almost a hundred percent at the show, it was a very nice surprise for me. And I was like, dude, this is what, this is all the work you've done is really kicking it now. That's awesome. Uh, Casey had to hit the bricks. He had to go to an alumni event, pretending that he went to school somewhere. So uh, he hit the bricks on us. So I will definitely dock his pay for this one, guys. Rem remind me to dock his pay. But, gonna, but, but, gonna but, but I'm going to do my job here that we have to spin that wheel twice, remember? Yes, we have to do it twice. Uh, we'll do that at the end of the show. Cool. So let's move on to all the, or the rest of the show we got here, guys. Our other friends of Old School Gamer, we want to talk about some of our other partners our other friend shows here rascal and shotgun sean go check out their show that gaming show they talk about all kinds of retro gaming stuff they play games we have an absolute blast on their show go check them out our good pal steven over at tech buzz his show game time is going to pop right after our show tonight so go scroll right on over to his show and i know he's got some cool stuff he's talking about over there our good pal UAG, I know he's taking a break for a little bit, but when he comes back, go check out his show, The Weekly Retro Party. And he does all kinds of tournaments and stuff all the time. We have a blast over there on his channel. Let's talk about our weekly tournament roundup, guys. We got some cool stuff going on this week. As always, MCAP has some awesome pinball tournaments going on. He has his FX3 tournament going right now, Medieval Madness. This is a beautiful table. And I've seen it on FX3. It is done very well. Uh, what a blast of a table. Check that one out. At games, I've been playing this one today, Bone Busters. I can't believe I let this one slip by. This is just a table that's on the, on, the, on the ALP right off the bat. So you can play it right now. And it's a great table. I uh, kind of never really gave it any, uh, any effort. I didn't really care much about it. But I've been playing it. And it's an awesome table, so check that one out. That's that's what's really fun and really cool about these tournaments, guys, is it makes you open your eyes to a game that you would never play before. And so if you look at this thing, it's kind of like a kind of like a ripoff of Ghostbusters. It's really it's really interesting. Really, really, really interesting. Polly Cade has a March long tournament, their downwell gameplay tournament, high score challenge. You got some really cool prizes. Now I'm going to tell you, I have one of their controllers and it's a phenomenal controller. It's probably the best Bluetooth controller I've ever tried. I have a couple other ones. I have a retro bit, another brand. I can't remember what the other brand is, but this one, this eight video is definitely without a doubt, the best one I've ever played. So play you down well, get the highest score and earn yourself one of those. On top of that, at the Midwest Gaming, they have their own live tournaments going on there. Uh, April 1st, they're going to be playing Tricky Towers. It's a upgraded version of Tetris, I guess the best way to describe it. It's a freaking fun game. And then the next day on Saturday, they are playing, no, on Sunday, they are playing Speedrunners. I haven't played this one yet, but I've seen the gameplay. And that's a really cool game as well. So go check us out there at Midwest Gaming Classic in uh, about a week. Our pal Gary Ray, Sunday night, fight nights. If you are a fan of Street Fighter, you're a fan of Marvel vs. Capcom, any sort of fighting games, go hang out with him over there and play the games. That's what I like about the guy is he plays the games. Our pal over there on neo turf masters clubhouse go check it out we have a blast playing neo turf masters if you're a golfing game fan this is the best golf game that there is if you ask me i've been playing this thing for years and it's the best is all there is to it uag has his laundromat wars coming up march 25th samurai showdown i'm pretty sure he's still gonna do it but i haven't heard any different so plan on this still happening uh jer says bone busters is his favorite table. Are you kidding? Well, that's awesome. Why didn't you tell me about it? See, Jared is hiding it from me. He's hiding it from me. Speedrunners is fun. It looks like a blast of a game, and I got to get that one loaded up. Renzo, what up, man? How are you, dude? Steven, you're absolutely right. I might just have to, you might have to come on as co-host from now on. I don't, I don't know what else to do. I can't handle it. He's always, he's constantly slacking on me. Over on Antstream, they have a really sweet tournament going on right now. It's only going for maybe, I don't know, I think three more days as I did this screenshot a couple of days ago. So three more days. This is a game that's like Cubert, 
actually. It's even a more advanced version of Q-Bird. It's actually a really fun game. So get on AntStream and play along on that tournament and see if you can earn your points on that one. 600 points. Now, guys, where is Old School Gamer going to be? Well, we've been talking about it all episode long, so it shouldn't be a surprise to you. We are going to be at Midwest Gaming Classic this, well, next week. Very, very soon. About, uh, I don't know, what, nine days? Something like that. We're going to be there live. We're going to have our pal Steven streaming the event. We're going to be doing a live tournament. We're going to be doing high score run on Joust and Crystal Castles. We teamed up with a really freaking sweet arcade up there called the Garcade. And they're going to let us use their tournament area and their cabinets to put together a little tournament situation. And we're going to stream it live. It's going to be an absolute blast, guys. We're very excited to do this. So we hope to see everybody either at the event or online. Hope to see you there. Now we have one more thing to talk about tournament-wise, guys. And it is our Old School Gamer Live NBA Jam Tournament. We're going to do this April 6th, the week we come back from the Mid School or Midwest Gamer. We're going to be doing this on Old School Gamer Live. This is going to be our episode. So we're going to just do a live NBA Jam Tournament. Sign up on our challenge page. I think we got a handful of people on there now. So it's going to be a fun event. And whoever wins first place is going to get 50 bucks from me. You will get to buy anything on my, on my website for up to 50 bucks there. Uh, console, what's up, dude? I want to see you signed up. I want to see you on there. I want I want you to be playing on this. It'll be a, a big blast. Uh, old Prince, good to see you, man. All right, so that's our NBA Jam. Now let's talk about my countdown of the week, guys. I'm all alone here. This is crazy. Everybody bailed on me. Look at this. My countdown of the week is my top five NES games. Speaking of that, let's get some music blasting here. Here we go. All right. My top five NES games that I grew up playing that were my formative years, you know, what the games that I learned how to play games on, basically. Number five, Metal Gear. This game right here, man, did I put some time into this thing. I was... It took me a very long time to beat it. Let's say that much. I uh, got the... Uh, there was an old VHS tape I got from a pick-and-save store that taught me how to beat this game, actually. I bought a couple of VHS, NES, how-to videos back in the day, but one of them taught me how to beat this game finally. And so uh, I finally got through this one. Music that you're hearing now is from this game, Sky Shark. It's my number four game. And it's not higher because uh, there, there's a couple of different reasons, but this is one of my favorite games because it was one of the games that my dad absolutely loved because it had something to do with the military. And so he, he bought me this game. So we played this one together. One of those kind of old fond memories. Number three for me is Contra. This one was one that me and my brother would play. I remember playing this late at night. We'd play this until, you know, we, we put the code in. We drop the Konami code in. We'd run it through. We'd probably, probably play this game two or three times in a row. Always loved Contra. Number two for me, guys, is Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Now, this one is very close to number one for me because I absolutely love Punch-Out. It was uh, one of the first games that I learned how to memorize patterns and how to uh, uh, use those patterns against the enemy. So, uh, yeah, this was a very important game for me. Now, number one for me, and this is very difficult, because <laughs> I love a lot of NES games, but I really just cut, cut it down the line, and I said, number one has to be Super Mario Brothers 3. It almost was Mario Brothers 2, because I loved Mario Brothers 2. It was completely different than one, and it was like a breath of fresh air when that came out. But when three came out, it was so ridiculously revolutionary. It was so unbelievably cool. You had so many different things you could do. You could go from different stages, pick which stage you wanted to go to. You could change different power-ups. You could store power-ups. It was 
absolutely intense. And I love this game. And so did all my friends. We played the tar out of this thing. So that's why Super Mario Brothers is number one on my countdown this week, guys. All right, let's move over to Game of the Week. Game of the Week last week was Mortal Kombat on the Ant stream. I don't know if anybody played that one, but I played a little bit, and it's just like it has been back in the day. Tough for the nails. Absolutely difficult. Now, this week, we're going to throw in a really fun one, Battle Shark. Playing it on the ALU, or any way you can play it, really. I'm playing it on the ALU because I have trackball. Let's go ahead and pull this thing up. And let's see if I can do... Uh, let's see here. How do I do the bigger screen? There we go. We'll flip this over here. All right. Actually, I don't even need to be on. Let's pull this up. I'm going to play a little bit of Battle Shark here, guys. Should work out pretty good. I'm going to blast the audio so you should hear that. All right. Yeah, this is a really fun game because it's it's set up like a you're in a submarine looking through a periscope in the arcade. So if you realize that and then the gameplay makes a lot of sense for how we're looking at it here how we're playing it i'm actually doing pretty good Ooh, that was luck all right all right Ooh, i got him wow guys i'm looking out here All right, all right. No, it's just on uh on the regular game set. It's not on arcade net. This is the regular regular set. Regular game list or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, I killed two with one shot. Ah, those are some bad shots there. Ah. Yeah, you don't want to take damage there, I think. Wow, I evaporated that shark. An underground tank or an underwater tank. Gotta wait to reload. Is he gonna get me? Ah. Wow. I don't think I've ever been this far. I don't think I've ever been outside of the water. Oh, and I was going to... Good thing those PT boats aren't doing any... Well, I guess... Uh oh, you might get me. Wow! F-14s, Tomcats, oh, come on, hit it, I don't even know what those things do, ooh, some rapid fire now, that's nice, Whew. 
Ooh. Guys, I'm slaying this. What's going on here? I'm under the bright lights. I got to perform here. I'm forced to perform. Okay. Rapidly approaching. There he is. Oh, I better better block those. That's it. Wow. Got me. 1,664,000. That's the score right there, my friends. To beat here boy i remember this thing will not let me scroll one letter at a time <laughs> yeah it's impossible to put your uh your initials in all right whatever oh at least put my g in there all right well anyway guys there you go there's a little bit of battle shark the game of the week this week we get in on that. Let me pull this up one more time here. Game of the week. Get in on that one, guys. And with that said, I think uh, we're going to call it a night. We're going to go on ahead and call it a night. Everybody split on me. Look at this. Can you believe it? They all left me here to do the hard work. It's all right. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. And no big deal. Appreciate everybody hanging out with me tonight. Go and subscribe, like, friend us, the whole nine yards. We got these cute little QR codes here. It makes it super easy. So go uh, hook up with us online. Oh, good job, guys. You guys, very, very, very good. We almost missed the old uh, skin there, didn't we? You know what? We're going to have to do this again because I didn't, I didn't even pull it up. Let's pull it up real quick here. All right, broadcast, hashtag, OSGL. All right. We are ready to do this. Let me share this screen. Where is it? The way tool. All right. Right there. The way tool. All right, here we go. Let's screen it. All right. A couple more seconds let you guys get your hashtags in real quick. Hashtag OSGL to win a Polycade $15 gift certificate. We're going to do two spins here. Let me turn this down over here. A little Battle Shark blasting. A little Battle Shark blasting. I get the Sky Shark music in the background. All right. Let's go ahead and run this, guys, and see who wins. First winner tonight. Sacro, all right. Sacro is first winner tonight. Congrats, my friend. Hit me up after the show, and I will get you a code. Let's draw one more time here. Who is winner number two? Six, my friend. Hit me up after the show. Both of you me up and we will get you guys hooked up with a uh, $15 gift certificate from our pals at Polycade. Definitely appreciate them donating that. That's uh, really cool. All right, guys. I appreciate you. Like I said, every single Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time, we're hanging out here at Old School Gamer Live. And I love every one of you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Have a good one.